For more than 150 years, people from many different backgrounds have called this neighborhood home. I'm Chase Beach in Boyle Heights, where a new exhibit explores the rich Jewish culture and history here in East LA. Many of the people of this neighborhood his name's as unique as his heritage, Shmuel Gonzalez. It's a mixture of Jewish and Mexican culture. He's a native of Boyle Heights, and his roots in this historic neighborhood are deep. My family story here in Boyle Heights goes back to 1896. He works as a community organizer and historian. And growing up, Shmuel learned that his Jewish family fled Spain during the Spanish Inquisition and eventually ended up here. I'm a Mexican-American. Um, Middle Eastern, Sephardic Jew. And like Shmuel, the neighborhood also has a rich Mexican and Jewish history. Today, Boyle Heights is 90% Latino, but in the 20s and 30s, 40% of the population was Jewish. In 2019, inspired by his own background, he founded this community center and museum, the Boyle Heights History Studios. And now the museum's hosting a new exhibit called Jewish Histories in Multi-Ethnic Boyle Heights. Shmuel's curated the exhibit with Caroline Luce, associate director of the UCLA Center for Jewish Studies. It's a deep dive into the lives of Jewish immigrants on LA's east side. Anywhere from 35,000 to 50,000 um, Jewish folks settled here in Boyle Heights. Um, the neighborhood had been home to Mexican and Mexican-Americans since the 1890s, to Chinese-Americans, to African-Americans, to Japanese-Americans. So Jews are crafting and building community in this incredible multi-ethnic context. By 1930, people from 43 different countries were living within a few blocks of each other, going to school together, and for the most part, getting along. It's these kinds of experiences with diversity that former residents of the neighborhood just herald as having been hugely formative for them. Using a timeline, Caroline and Shmuel mapped out important markers in Boyle Heights history, like the garment workers' strike, when Jewish and Mexican women, seen in this photo, worked together to increase their wages. After World War II, LA's Jewish community began to move away from Boyle Heights, and these groups that were once deeply connected became isolated from each other. Caroline hopes this exhibit helps Angelinos understand more about the city's interconnected history. And the hope by exposing and peeling back these many overlapping layers is that all Angelinos understand that they have a connection to this neighborhood, um, that it's uh, one that we should all care about and steward. Shmuel says he wants this space and the exhibit to be a place where new connections are formed. We can learn how our cultures influence each other, that our cultures are porous, and be able to inspire each other in new ways. So he'll keep sharing the diverse stories that make up the history of Los Angeles.